Hi there, YouTube. Fireman here. This is going to be a very short video. Um, I just got back from going to visit Grand's gravesite. Grand passed away last year on March 19th. Um, but TJ, who is my husband, and myself, more in our minds, I guess, we were more focused on the fact that it took place at Easter. Um, partially because we both really love Ostara and Easter but also because um, Grand was Catholic and there was a big rush to either get her remains into the earth by a certain cutoff point or waiting until after Easter had passed. And as a family, they decided that they were going to inter her before Easter. So it was a very sudden death. Um, she became ill and passed away in three days. Um, she was flown out of Bad Axe to Bay City, um, and then to Saginaw, and then she passed away in Saginaw. She did regain consciousness, um, more or less said her goodbyes to everyone, and a day later she had passed away. So it was... A very quick death. It was, I don't want to say painless, but, you know, as little pain as one could hope for. Um, so TJ and I associate it more with Easter and Ostara. But right now was just a quiet time between the two where I could go and pay my respects. Um, I don't feel that she lingered. Um, pretty much when she's given her last rites, and then she slipped away very quietly. And TJ's more sensitive than I am, but we both agreed that we felt she went, she went to where she belonged, and she comes and visits, but she does not just remain here, you know. So it's a happy time. Um, it's a joyous time because she was in so much pain for much of her life, um, not so much health-wise, but emotionally she was in pain for a long, long time. So it was, you know, a release. But I don't go up there as often as her three grandsons, but I did know Gran for over 10 years. Um, she, I actually met Gran before I met TJ's mother, <laughs> because she lived with them. She raised the three boys, um, her daughter and her had always lived together. Um, they were never separated. So it's been a very hard year, but it's also been, I don't want to say like freeing, but in a way, like I came to peace a lot sooner than I thought I would with it. I mean, I still have moments when I cry and that is totally fine. That's part of the grieving process, but overall, like I didn't really get angry about what happened um, or anything, so I've had a smooth grieving process, to be quite honest. Um, not to sound callous or um, ungrateful for all that she did for me in her life, you know, in the 10 years that we knew each other. Um, but yeah, I went and paid my respects. And I'm supposed to be trying to nap right now because I wanted to stay up for the full 24-hour stream. I don't think that's going to work because I can't get my mind to even go quiet at all today with everything that's been going on, with all the excitement. And even today with a day of quietness and peace, like, still, like, I was excited about later, you know? You can't cut yourself off entirely from excitement. Um... But also, I wanted to wish everybody a happy Trans Day of Visibility. Hopefully, I have that tag right. I like to mentally switch around words when it comes to tags. I don't know. Like, I can read just fine. But when it comes to tags, my brain just, like, can't function. Um, but yes, happy Trans Day of Visibility. Uh, I know it's not talked about a lot in the pagan community. But, you know, trans people are here. They're in our community you know, they're witches and they're pagans and they're all those beautiful things. 
And so here's to you, my fellow trans people in this community, in the witchcraft community. It's wonderful to have you here. Um, I know not everybody's out of the broom closet. Not everybody's out as trans. You kind of have to do what's safe and healthy for you. Um, I know when I was in high school, I came out as bisexual, and that was a very daring thing because I lived in a rural community. It's rather conservative here, and for whatever reason, I was, you know, shielded and protected from any negative, like, severe negative consequence. You know, there are minor things, but I was prepared for that. But I'm very fortunate that nothing serious happened to me, and I am likewise very fortunate that being open and a witch has not brought any harm on me. Um, being open as a trans person has also not, because I am gender neutral and we still do fall under the trans um, umbrella. I know some people like to argue against that, but we, we do. Just like we are a part of LGBTIA, we are also a part of the trans community. So... Just wanted to have that little shout out for other trans witches who might not, you know, feel comfortable talking about it all the time. But just the fact that you exist is such a radical and awesome thing. Um, and in this time of political strife, I'm not going to get too much into it, but it's there. Um, I think it's more important than ever for all of us to stick together and to love one another. And so... With that, I just want to say, be good to each other, love one another, care for one another, and just have a wonderful, beautiful, fantastic, awesome day. <laughs>